What is up guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to be talking about the gnome 47 alpha release which was released about two days ago i do have it installed on my laptop i ran into some weird issues with it uh it's alpha it happens uh basically what happens in 20 minutes uh the whole de starts acting weird and when i move the mouse it just starts stuttering this is a virtual machine, by the way, because, you know, YouTubers use virtual machines that have to screw up their main install, which most people don't seem to understand. Yeah, they just seem to think that every environment we're a part of is instantly uh, destructible and we can just sacrifice our time to destroy everything we need to get a video across. No, if we have uh, the means to use a VM, we're going to use a VM. That's how that works, even if the performance is not so good. So the first major thing we're going to jump into here is accent colors. You can see them at work here. This is purple now. Uh, this will be available in, where is it, appearance, as you can see here. So we can change it to whatever uh, number of these accent colors that are available. Unfortunately, you don't get to choose a custom one because the GNOME developers argued night and day for months over that fact that they want only certain specific ones to be a choice stop that we we've had enough of that you you are literally acting like ass wipes most of the time when it comes to this because you know how much i would have loved avatar this blue yeah it would have been great thanks for ruining that great job all seriousness aside i was just joking the colors that they chose are actually pretty cool and i don't mind them at all there's the there's there's the slate in other words they could have just called it gray and then purple pink red, orange, yellow, green, teal, and blue. Blue is the default one, and I usually go with purple. Now, there's some new wallpapers. I believe they are new because, are they new? One second, let me check. Because I want to make sure that they are new and I'm not just imagining it. Because uh, we do have gnome over here. So appearances. Oh yeah, they're definitely new. Yeah, what the hell is even this? So, there's new wallpapers. This one is my favorite, I don't know why. It just, it stares at you. And it's like, it's like a weird optical illusion. I don't know. I'm just getting sucked into it, I guess. Uh, the Empfant, what is it called? Their, their built-in browser has some upgrades, including touch gestures for other things. If we go into preferences, we go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, you'll notice there's a new touch navigation gesture. Can't test that because don't have a touch screen, as it were. But GNOME 47 is going to have improved notifications on the lock screen. I've tested those. They look pretty cool. And the ability to center the time on the lock screen with a 12-hour format. I, the centering the clock is kind of interesting. I mean, I get what they're trying to do and, and everything, but it's just a bit odd that they're doing that uh, at all to begin with. I mean, I've never seen that requested by anyone. But if it makes people, you know, happy, then I guess they should be happy. Another thing here is workspaces. A so workspace preview in Windows List and window uh, workspace indicator, GNOME shell extensions, Add support for persistent remote login sessions to GNOME remote desktop. And adds playground icons and dark mode support and drawing public transit routes. And there's a whole bunch of crazy stuff in here. Yeah, it's it's not really that big of an update. It's just mostly the uh, the VR stuff. So DRM leasing is in GNOME 47. Accent colors. There's also one that was merged. It has to do with... Um, what do you call it hdr which is srgb to hdr support which is pretty cool uh again unable to test that because we're in a vm but yeah use vms for specific reasons of course and there's another thing here uh what was it? i just saw it it's kind of cool it's something about orca ah a much improved uh, Orca screen reader with better Wayland support. So improved accessibility options in a nutshell is what they're trying to tell you. And honestly, I have a 
bunch of friends with seeing issues, so having an improved screen reader is pretty important. Uh, how I get to these is totally unknown to me because I've never ever needed to do this. Accessibility, and I believe seeing screen reader. Screen reader 16 push uh, screen reader off. I guess it's not improved yet. Gnome. Sweet developers of Gnome. We have these things called AI voices now. Okay. Okay. So they mimic almost identically to humans and their vocal capabilities. This is not speak and spell sexting class anymore. All right. We're not stuck back in the days where uh, you would find, what was it? Those weird little Intel chips inside of these speak and spells and they sound like robots. See, that's not a thing that needs to happen no more. Okay. So Orca, I don't know if that was Orca or not. I, I don't know at all. I mean, Orca? No. I don't know what that was, but that, that was really bad. Yeah. That was the worst that I've heard in a long time. Mac OS does it better. Windows does it better. You guys need to start doing it better because I just almost went deaf there. So please do better. Anyway, I uh, sorry about the weird video. I know it's just it's just that not all changes are major changes, but still need to be talked about nonetheless. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Oh, one last thing. Extensions. They don't break. They go out of date. And all developers really need to do besides Blur My Shell Dev is update the metadata. I've informed most of them because I've tested all the extensions that I do use. And they all just needed metadata to be updated. And that was it. So it should be pretty easy for them unless something major changes in the beta compared to the alpha but i'll be testing the beta as well so i'll keep you guys informed bye bye